So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can engrave three objects on the x -Tool S1 laser engraver using the brand new upgrade that lets you engrave objects of different shapes and in different angles. Let's check it out. Now, the first step in this process is always to gauge your material. So you go through your normal step of doing this and having the material set. I've already done that. The next step we're gonna do is set our marking. Now, what's changed with the software is that you can mark multiple objects at the same time. You're not just one solution and you have different shapes. So the first one I'm gonna choose is a rectangle. I'm gonna choose start. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to come to the S1 and I'm gonna mark the first item. Now marking the first item is pretty simple. All I'm gonna do is come here I'm gonna put the crosshair on this corner. Actually, I'm gonna go a little bit in the inside, just, just where the finish is, right? Actually, no, I'm gonna go ahead and go back over here, do it from this point and I'm gonna mark it. And then I'm gonna come over here, just like we did before, I'm gonna do the bottom. And this is gonna give me my, my rectangle. All right, now let's check out the software. Now the software's gonna give me my first marking point. And for this marking type, I'm already done. So I'm gonna do end marking. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to choose a different marking type. This time I'm gonna choose a polygon. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna mark Let's go ahead again to this side. You can see the diamond right there. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna mark this point. That is my first point. Make sure that that's right there. That's gonna be my first point. I'm gonna then choose my second point. This is gonna be right here. And then my third point is gonna be here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this point right here. All right. And now I have all the points for this slate to be in diamond form. Now back to the software, I'm gonna choose end marking. And now you'll notice here I have my diamond. It's, you know, it's the same slate, but I just changed the shape. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing again, but I'm gonna do it with the other point and I'm gonna leave it on polygon. So we're gonna take this over here the same thing, grab that position there. I'm gonna come over here, grab this position here. All right, put it on that position. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to this position as well. And now we'll go back to the software. Now you'll see with the software, we have those points again, and I'm gonna do end marking. Now I have those three slates have been, the coordinates have been recorded and what I can do is now work with each one of those items when it comes to dropping an image to engrave. Now, as soon as you've done that, you'll see that on the software, you can see each one. Now, what I like doing is if it's a square, if it's a shape, any kind of shape we have, what I like to do is take and insert another shape inside of it, and then I'll rotate it, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna get something in here that's gonna be the shape. I already know that all these slates are the same size, so I'm gonna basically grab this one right here, and draw it, right? And I have it right here, and what I'll do is I'll take this one um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna paste it. I'm gonna bring it up here and I'm gonna rotate it, All right? So now I have my coordinate for this one and come over here, do the same thing for this one. So I have that, probably tilt it a bit more this way. Okay, that's going to be close enough for me. And I'm going to paste my other one right here. Now, the reason why I do this is because it gives me something to snap to. When I start working with my images, I can work with the snap. Now, I don't have to do that. Uh, but again, if this is something I was going to be doing repeating, and I want to just make sure that I was right in the center, this is what I would do. Now, with all the images that we're dropping in here, I am uh, arranging these, uh, uniting these, and putting them in so that the engrave is all together. So you'll notice uh, here we have our corgi. And because I have the, the diamond or the square around it, it helps me align and snap things. So this is where I think things are gonna look. I already did this one and I did this one. And again, I'm gonna have three slates engraved. Now, for those of you curious of our settings, I'm gonna use 20% power, 400 speed, 240 lines print for each of these. I'm gonna choose them all. 
I'm going to go into my settings. I call this the white slate setting. Everything has been set. And now what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and process. Now everything here looks good. We're going to go ahead and send it and watch it go. Now, the cool thing about this, obviously, is the fact that you can batch engrave a lot of items at the same time. So, and they don't have to be in the same shape. Now, again, if this was a circle slate, uh, maybe a rectangle slate and a square slate, it would be something that would stand out a little bit more. But for this illustration, or at least for this example, all I did is rotated them and I'm having them all engraved um, at the same time. And again, it's gonna go from this slate to the slate that's uh, maybe the one on the right and then the one on the bottom. I don't know what the order is gonna be, but it's gonna get them all done. As you can see here, it's already started on the next uh, slate automatically based on uh, the settings that we created. And there you go, our third slate underway. All right guys, so let's look at the final product. As you can see here, uh, here's the first one. Came out really nice looking. Here is the second one. Look at the alignment. And here's the Corgi. Also, check out the alignment. Absolutely excellent. So guys, there wraps up our video. See you in the next one.